this is Sarah with Posh Pooch Designs and in today's video I'm going to show you or maybe have a discussion about front loops, back loops, bottom loops or bottom bumps and also what are post stitches. In today's demonstration I'm using this big thick number seven yarn it is called Red Heart Grande and my great big hook. And I thought I would do this this way to make it a lot easier for you to see. So the first thing I'm going to do is to make a slip knot. And then I'm going to chain 10 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We'll pull that up a little bit. And let's take a look, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> let's take a look at a chain. On the top of the chain, we have this beautiful braid. On the bottom of the chain, we have some bumps. Now, when a designer says to chain or to stitch or whatever they're asking you to do, and they're saying do it front loop only, the front loop is the loop of the chain or the top of the stitch that is always facing you. The back loop of the chain or the stitch is the loop that is facing away. And this makes a nice effect depending on what the designer is wanting it to look like will depend on how and where you place that stitch. So on the top of the chain, we have front loops and we have back loops. So let's turn the chain over and on the bottom we have what's called bottom bumps or bottom loops and sometimes a designer will ask you to stitch in these bumps and this makes a really nice effect because you'll start stitching here in these bumps and then it, the stitch <clears throat> will be behind this chain and it makes a really nice chain effect. <clears throat> so, on a chain, on the top, we have front loops and back loops. And on the bottom of the chain, we have bottom bumps or bottom loops. The next thing we're going to talk about are crochet posts, front posts and back posts. And I get this question often, what is the post and where do I put my hook? So I have made 10 double crochets and on a double crochet and even on a half double crochet or triple or whatever you're working with, this is your post right here. The whole stitch section is your post. So let's pull that chain out. I put that in there so that I wouldn't uh, come unravel. So if I'm going to stitch on the front post, I would put my hook through. I'm going to turn this over like this so I can stitch this direction. So here is our double crochets. So if I'm going to stitch a double crochet front post, the way I would do that is I would yarn over on my hook and then I would put my hook through the front around that post and pull my thread through there, yarn over and make my back, I mean my double crochet and when you stitch a front post, you double crochet or triple your, your stitches on top. Now, I'm going to make another one. Yarn over. I'm going to go in the next post. And basically what you're doing when you're stitching a front post is you're basically stitching around the post. 
So that's two front posts and you can see they're on top. So that's a front post that you stitch the stitches facing you on the front. Okay, so now we want to do a back post. So what you do is you turn your work and you go around the back of the post, yarn over, pull your hook through, and then you stitch your double crochet. And you can see there's a little lip here and you stitched your stitch on the back. Okay, we'll do another one. For some reason I got the sniffles. Yarn over. You're going to go through that stitch on the back side. Pull your loop through. Oops, I missed the loop. And that happens. There we go. That's why you got to make sure you get it all. And then we stitch a double crochet. And you can see here's two front post double crochets and here's two back posts. When you stitch on the back side you get this slip. And if you turn your work over you have the lip here and the stitches here. That's how a basket weave is made. All right, let's do two more front posts. Yarn over. Here's our two back posts, so we're going to go on this next post. Yarn over. Stitch our double crochet. Do the next one. Going through that stitch around the post of the double crochet. There we go. So now we've stitched two more double crochets on the front and we'll do two more on the back and then I'll show you how it will look. So we're, we've yarned over, we're going to the back of our work and we're going to do the next two posts. There's one. Yarn over and go through the next post. There we go. I used a nice thick yarn so that you could see it. I'm just going to do a chain three here just so it stays put so we can talk about it. So, there we go. So here we did, uh, that's our first stitch, and then we did two front posts, two back posts, two front posts, and two back posts. And you can see the front posts are on top, and the back posts are stitched behind. And the neat thing is, if you turn your work over, it looks the same, only opposite. And that, like I said, is how a basket weave is formed. So that's how you work on your front and back posts.